Our story starts with a ground level view of a little skirmish between some toys. So let's introduce the first few toys. On the right, you'll see the hero of the story. He's our Buzzy character, and you can see him punching this toy villain. Notice that when our Buzzy character punches the villain, there's this cartoony POW symbol. This POW will help you remember Patow syndrome. POW, Patow. Notice that this punch really messed up the face of this villain toy. The punch gave him a cleft palate. This punch-induced cleft will help you remember that Patow syndrome patients often have cleft lips or cleft palates. Now look at the hand on this villain. He has six fingers. This signifies polydactyly, or extra fingers, which is common in Patow syndrome. So six fingers, polydactyly. Now our Buzzy character doesn't look that perfect either. In fact, fact, the villain has been experimenting on other toys, swapping out parts for other parts. Our hero recently had his head swapped out for a much smaller Lego head. This micro Lego head will help you remember microcephaly, which is common in Patel syndrome. Now it's fitting that our Buzzy character has a toy halo attached to his suit. After all, he is the hero of our story. Anyways, the halo will help you remember that Patau syndrome patients often have holoprosencephaly. In holoprosencephaly, the forebrain fails to separate into two hemispheres. So, halo, holoprosencephaly. 